Looking for a cheap GMRS radio? In this video, we review the top three affordable GMRS radios to help you find the perfect radio for you. First, we have an excellent budget handheld GMRS radio that combines great build quality and performance. Next, we feature a mobile GMRS radio that's packed with accessories and flexibility for easy installation. Ideal for anyone needing a durable and versatile radio. And finally, we'll look at a highly affordable GMRS radio that offers solid performance and reliability. Stay tuned to see which one is the best fit for you. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and check the video description for more details and prices. Let's begin with our first pick, which is one of the best budget handheld GMRS radios, the Baofeng GMRS 9R. Pricing has always been the attractive side of Baofeng radios, but things get sweeter with the better build quality and performance of radios like the GMRS 9R. And that's what makes this transceiver one of our budget picks. There are improvements here that go beyond the CCR stereotype for Baofeng radios. These are visible in several aspects like the programming, firmware, and even visually with the casing and design. Many packages of this radio include two batteries, so you can have the radio working while one battery sits in the cradle and charges. Though this is a likable solution, repeated use is likely to weaken the waterproofing seal over time. That's not really this radio's fault, that's just how things work. The front of the GMRS radio shows a clear screen and a backlit and rubberized keypad. As with much of the newer crop of Baofeng radios, this one too says goodbye to the old rubber ducky antenna and embraces a whip antenna. Some packaging also includes an 18.8-inch Abri tactical antenna for improved performance. Other accessories include a charging dock and Abri microphone. When it comes to programming, the radio works with Chirp, but you'll need to purchase the cable separately. Although you might be able to use it right out of the box, since it isn't programmed to narrowband or proprietary tones. Also, it does have a strange quirk. When scanning, it will stop whenever it encounters a NOAA channel. You can set it to skip NOAA channels in scanning, but that will require programming. Moving on, the rated maximum RF power output for this radio is 5 watts, with the minimum at 0.5 watt. Though, as with most cheap radios, the max RF output can be variable and might be lower than the advertised number. When it comes to the competition, it would be only natural to compare it to another famous, waterproof, and budget GMRS radio, the Baofeng UV9G. Practically, both of these are the same radio and even share the same FCC ID. Baofeng GMRS 9R simply happens to be in a more modern housing. Overall, Baofeng GMRS 9R is a decent and well-priced GMRS radio. It's sturdy, waterproof, and generally useful to anyone who wants a reliable, handheld GMRS transceiver on a budget. Moving on, we have the BTEC GMRS 20V2, which is our choice for the best cheap mobile GMRS radio. It is a capable mobile GMRS radio that comes in at a very attractive price. It also comes with a decent set of accessories in the package. These include a mounting bracket, a microphone holder, power cable for a 12-volt DC outlet, and screws to complete the setup. Setting up and mounting the transceiver has a ton of flexibility. Since the buttons and display are all on the microphone, the main unit can be stashed out of sight. BTEC says that the radio is IP67 dustproof and waterproof, so there's more freedom in placing it and that's especially useful for off-roading or vehicles like tractors. BTEC has put significant effort into the manual to make installation and general use easier. It's very well written and offers clear instructions about using and mounting the radio. They've even made room for circuit diagrams and figures. This is really refreshing, considering that most manuals barely cover the necessities. In value and setup, it is very similar to the Midland Micro Mobile MXT275 GMRS radio, though they look at things differently and have variations in style and approach. The Midland radio comes with an antenna and offers a maximum RF output of 15 watt. On the other hand, BTEC GMRS 20V2 can do 20 watt RF output, but the antenna has to be purchased separately. 
it's also easier to program since it's compatible with Chirp, and the freedom to install the transceiver gets quite useful thanks to its waterproofing. Pairing the GMRS 20V2 with the right antenna can enhance its performance. BTEC also does a good job with an accessory ecosystem, so you can buy the recommended Nagoya UT27 antenna or the enhanced audio adapter kit that works with the microphone. The mic is all important here and manages to make room for a decently sized and crisp color display and the buttons. It feels comfortable to hold in your hands, but might take some time getting used to because of its size. Other notable features include the ability to transmit on narrowband and wideband, customized channel names, DTMF keypad, its repeater capable, FM radio receive, NOAA channels, and dual watch. Overall, BTEC has put together a nice offering. It is especially good for outdoor use, thanks to being dustproof and waterproof. Lastly, our last choice for a cheap GMRS radio is the Radioddity GM30. If you're looking for a budget-friendly yet reliable GMRS radio, Radioddity GM30 might just be the perfect fit for your needs. It is priced at around $30 for a single unit and around $50 for a two-pack. Opting for the two-pack gives you a programming cable which is super handy for easy setup. In the box, you get the radio, antenna, 1500 milliampere hour battery, USB-C cable, and charger. If you go for the two-pack, you also get that programming cable, making life a lot easier. First off, let's talk power. The GM30 delivers up to 5 watts on most channels, giving you a solid range. However, channels 8 through 14 are limited to half a watt to comply with FCC regulations. The battery is a 1500 milliampere hour rechargeable via USB-C, offering several hours of usage on a full charge. That USB-C charging is super convenient. Just plug it into your car or any USB port. Now, the GM30 comes pre-programmed with 30 channels, 22 shared FRS GMRS channels, and 8 repeater channels. Plus, you can program up to 250 channels, including VHF and UHF frequencies. And yes, it even has FM radio and NOAA weather radio capabilities for those times when you need a bit of entertainment or crucial weather updates. Moving on, it performs pretty well. You can manage to get clear communication up to 4 miles in a slightly hilly area. On flat terrain, you could easily expect a range of around 5 miles. The sound quality is clear with minimal static, which is impressive for a budget radio. When you compare it to other GMRS radios, like the Midland models, which are often priced above $100 for a pair, the GM30 offers similar performance at a fraction of the cost. While Midland radios might offer slightly better build quality and additional features, the GM30 stands out for its affordability and solid performance. Operating the GM30 is straightforward, even if you're a beginner. The buttons are tactile and easy to use, and it even has a built-in flashlight. A nice touch for those nighttime adventures. However, the included hand strap and earpiece are of lower quality. If you plan on using these accessories a lot, you might want to consider upgrading them. Programming the GM30 can be done via the front panel, but trust me, using the provided software and USB programming cable makes it much easier. It's especially handy if you're setting up multiple units. So the Radioddity GM30 is a fantastic option for those looking for an affordable, reliable GMRS radio. Its performance and features make it a strong competitor against more expensive brands like Midland. Whether you're using it for hiking, camping, off-roading, or just staying in touch with family, the GM30 is up to the task. So what do you think? Which of these is the best cheap GMRS radio for you? Or do you think another affordable GMRS radio is better? Tell us in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.